Someday we may be fueling our cars with hydrogen, so Kelly Hybrider put on the safety glasses and went on to the Imagination Station to find out how powerful this gas can really be. Hydrogen, oxygen, and combustion all sound like great days at work with cars. They are, they are. What are we going to do today, Carl? Well, you know, you, you've heard about these hydrogen-fueled cars, right? It's, it's going to be the wave of the future and whatnot. And so I thought we'd talk a little bit about combustion, because for combustion, you need three things. Fuel, flame, and oxygen. Okay? Fuel, flame, oxygen. Fuel, flame, Got and it. oxygen. So uh, this balloon is filled with oxygen gas. And I'm just going to bubble some of this oxygen gas right into this uh, tray of soapy water. Okay. All right? And um, oxygen is definitely one of the things you need for any kind of combustion. And so. I thought it'd be interesting if we were like to maybe throw a match in there and see what happens. Am I allowed? I, I think we can give that uh -uh. a try. Would you, would you like to do it? Yeah. Okay, so go ahead and okay. light the match. And what I want you to do before you go in, let's be careful here, mm -hmm. um, just bring it in and just touch it to the bubbles. Careful. Right, see. Oh, they're just kind of popping. They're just kind of popping. But it? if you watch closely, the match is getting a little brighter. Go ahead and burrow it down in there again. Oops. It gets on. a little bit brighter when you Got get in on. that oxygen rich atmosphere. It did. it did, it brightened up a little bit. However, it doesn't explode. I mean, it's not making a big burst. Oh, I right? see. Yeah, it does get a little bright. bit brighter. Okay, because again, oxygen is one of the three things you need for combustion, the match being your fuel. Now, that's sort of fun. I'm going to take these away from you for this one. Okay, because. <laughs> that probably be a good idea. Carl. Okay, just oxygen and matches is one thing. But if we were to take hydrogen gas and oxygen and combine it together, like I've done in this balloon, now I have two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. Okay. All right, we're going to bubble these into this tray, and I'd like you to put your, uh, your hearing protection on there. Um, this, it could be a little loud, and better be safe than sorry. Okay? So what I'm going to do is, again, a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen gas, okay. ratio of two hydrogen, one oxygen. I'm going to have you dip your hands in this tray over here real quick, because I need you to scoop up the bubbles. Get oh. them right down to your wrist. No, leave these bubbles behind. Okay. We're going to scoop up some of the other ones, but I need way more bubbles in there. See, the deal is you can't really pick up bubbles if your hands are dry. Oh, I They'll see. They'll just pop, and that's not very exciting. So again, bubbles filled with two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. What I would need you to do is scoop up as many bubbles as you can, but leave the water behind, okay. all right? So get as many bubbles as you can. Okay, and then open your hands up flat for me. And we're gonna scoop those down a little bit. All right, we're gonna see what happens when we add a little bit of energy Everyone to that. Everyone has their ears covered, Carl. We're gonna have a little bit of energy to combine those two atoms together. Here we go, three, two, one. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> but no, show them your hands. Show your hands are okay, right? Yes, everything's fine. Really, really loud explosion, Thanks. right? Wow, that so, was fantastic. I mean, that gives you an idea. When you talk about a hydrogen-fueled car, yeah. how that tiny little handful of bubbles, <laughs> it had a tiny amount of hydrogen gas, tremendous amount of yeah. energy, tremendous amount of energy stored in that gas. So the uh, yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know what you mean. That's why we were being safe yeah, with the hearing protection. That's a good one. <laughs> Three, two. Wow, well, you're probably not going to want to try that at home, but if you're looking for something fun to do, you can always check out all the fun, the chemistry activities, everything that they have going on at the Imagination.